Hi, welcome to Excelworks Tutorials. In this video, I'll demonstrate the use of the nonlinear non system solver NLSolve in Excel Lab. NLSolve is a pretty easy function to use. Uh, you need to uh, represent your system as a set of ordered equations. The equality equations are listed first, and any inequality are listed last with respect to zero using the greater than operator. Once you have the system in this form, you simply pass the reference to the equations in the first argument. A list of variables for the system in the second argument. Uh, these variables should have defined initial guesses in them. And then if you have any inequality conditions, then you pass their numbers in the third argument. You can also customize the algorithm using the control optional argument, which is a set of key value pairs. These key value pairs are described in detail in the help page, and they include setting options to setting tolerances as and controlling the internal Jacobian calculation. You can also pass an analytical Jacobian for the system, although it is unnecessary. NLSolve computes the exact solution if it's possible, or a minimum square error solution that minimizes the error in the equations. Let's uh, move to Excel and try NLSolve on two examples. Uh, the first example is a set of equations known as the Biggs problem. I've already written down these equations you see here uh, in cells A12 to A7 using the variables x1 to xx. I've also defined the initial guess for the variables x1 to xx to b1 in cells x1 to xx. To use NLSolve I have to write as an array formula because I have six variables here so I can allocate an array of six and simply insert the formula for NLSolve. My first argument is a reference to the variable to the formulas and my second argument is a reference to the variables which has the initial guess. This is all required. I press Control Shift Enter and it computes the solution. We can also format the solution and, uh, and obtain additional information about the convergence using one of the uh, key value pairs. We can try this here. In order to use this, however, we will need a larger array to hold the formatting information and the convergence. So I've located a larger array with, with two columns and two additional rows. And I'm going to insert the same solver here. And I'm going to skip over the third argument or insert zero because we have no inequalities and then specify the key header with a value of true using a constant array. As you see, we obtain the same results, but now the solution is formatted with the corresponding variables in the orders they were entered. And it also reports the sum of square errors that's been computed, which is pretty close to zero, and the number of iterations it took to solve this system. To uh, learn more about the header key option, you can always go back to the uh, key value pairs and it describes what the effect of this key is. Next, Let's try an example with inequalities, a system of equations and inequalities. It's solved pretty much in the same way. I, I have made up this system here, which, is ha which has uh, two inequalities and one equation. As you see, I've listed the inequalities last, and they are with respect to greater than or equal to zero. If you have an, in an inequality which is smaller than or equal to zero, all, simply all you have to do is multiply by the equation by minus one, and that will flip the relational operator for you. I've defined these equations in these formulas here in cell A10 to A12, and I'm going to solve it directly. We have three variables, so I'm going to use the formatting option and allocate an array of two columns and five rows. Insert my formula and it'll solve. My first argument is a reference to the equations, and my second argument is a reference to the variables, which have the initial guess defined into them. And I'm going to specify two here in the third argument because we have two inequalities. And I'm going to use the optional arguments. Header equal true. And NLSolve computes the following solution for us. And again, we see we have a, a very small error, meaning it's an exact solution. And it took uh, NLSolve seven iterations. As you can see, NLSolve is, is very simple to use. And uh, there is, as you know, there is a built-in solver in 
excel for solving similar problems however as you can see Inner solve works fundamentally different from the built-in excel solver it's a pure worksheet function there are no menus and it does not modify any values or any other data in Excel except for calculating the results in its allocated memory. Uh, NLSolve is part of the functions of the Excel Lab library and it's the same optimizer that's used to solve more complex parametrized problems involving differential equations and other problems. Thank you for watching.